Who is going to win this season? Um, that is the question, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know who's going to win this season, but I hope it's me. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I want to win this season. Well, obviously, I'm going to say me. I mean, why not, right? I can win this season. <laughs> Hopefully me. You better watch out because those players are amazing out there. So I think it's going to be a great show. Welcome to Athletes Unlimited Volleyball on ESPN, presented by Nike. A change of season, change of location. What hasn't changed is that the only individual championship in the sport of volleyball will be decided over the next five weeks. Our overview coming in, 44 top athletes in the game with an innovative scoring system that we'll explain to you along the way. The top four point getters after each week, the leaders on the leaderboard will be drafting teams. We have new teams every Tuesday and we play Friday, Sunday, and Monday. We're going to start off Athletes Unlimited Volleyball Season 3 with a battle of top setters. Team Nutsara Tomcom taking on Team Valentin Anderson. Welcome inside, everybody. Kevin Barnett joined appropriately enough by former national team and collegiate standout Missy Whittemore at the setter position. And Missy, we know how important setters are. Nutsara Tomcom in her second season now, an international star bringing her knowledge of year one. Absolutely. Nutsara is fresh off that Road to Paris qualifier with Team Thailand. She is regarded as one of the best players in the world. And while she may not be new to AU, she is making her debut as a captain after finishing fifth on the leaderboard just a season ago. She has compiled a group of big arms and AU vets that are going to make a really nice combination. One of those big arms just happens to be Yasiana Presley was her first pick off the board in the draft. Presley, of course, the 2019 AVCA Player of the Year out of Baylor. Arms definitely matter. A lot of young talent's going to be interesting. Veteran positions at the center. Valentin Anderson, Natalia, tops in the league last year. She is captaining the orange. Valentin Anderson, that overall runner-up in 2021 behind De La Cruz. She was a member of the inaugural Dream Team as a setter, but a Defensive Player of the Year finalist as well, showing off her complete game. She went with a very a heavy roster in terms of newcomers. But she also drafted Brooke Nunaviller, that three-time All-American out of Oregon. The Arizona native is actually, though, returning home for her first season of AU. She is one of six draftees in the league this season. You mentioned versatility. Brooke Nunaviller is kind of that Swiss Army knife. Started at libero, started at outside, played a number of different roles, important ones for the Ducks. All right, Team Nutsara in blue. We'll start with... Molly McCage, Claire Chasse, Yasiana Presley, Reed and Bastianelli. Lots of talent here. Interesting couple of veterans in the middle. On the other side for Valentin Anderson, it's going to be Lukes, one of the newcomers, along with Hippie and Fanning. You mentioned those middles for Team Blue. Definitely experience there for Nutsara. And Valentin Anderson is going to bring out Tori Dixon, speaking of experience, 10 years on the USA Women's National Team. A wide variety of national team stars, Olympians, and young talent. So much young talent. I'm excited to see how they measure up. Yeah, speaking of young, I said that Brooke Nunaville are one of six draftees in the league this season. Well, she's joined in the starting lineup by Katie Lukes for Team Orange, also a draftee this season. The aforementioned Nutsara Tomcom back to serve. Switching to 13 for this year. Gave up the 88. Uh, that was snapped up by Marin Grote on her team. We're underway season three from Mesa, Arizona this time. Cross court winner right away with Nova. And that's exactly why she was taken off the board so quickly because you see the finish with the big swing, but how about the ball control with the pass? That is paramount at this level and Brooke Nunnaviller does it well. One of the best watches in all of the game. You are in for a treat this season with none of Villar outside. So Maddie, Natalia Valentin Anderson serves it up. First tip finds the floor. You don't always have to hit it hard, Claire Chasse. Another rookie, by the way, showcasing our young talent here early as this one gets going. I had two players on my watch list coming in as my favorite players to watch collegiately who are now in the professional league, and we've seen them right off the top, Nunaviller and Chaucer. 
similar players, if I might say, in terms of their ball control and yet their ability to terminate at the left pin and not the biggest players that we're going to see here at AU this weekend. But boy, are they aggressive at the net. Brooke Nunaville out of Chandler, Arizona, as Missy Whittemore mentioned. The fans already out here. Enjoying the start of the league. You have five weeks to come out. I recommend you get here. Ball is tight and tipped. Smartly done by Katie Lukes. Saw the secondary setting there by Amanda Benson, that black jersey for the orange team. Their libero hangs a nice ball up. We talked about this team having a lot of newcomers. The first and second contact are pretty well known for the orange team. Benson, a returner, but in terms of those players taking swings at the ball, you're going to see a lot of new faces. Nunaville with the dig. Valentin Anderson dishes overhead. Hippa with the kill. Saskia Hippa out of Berlin, Japan. <laughs> Berlin, Japan. Berlin, Germany. Where am I trying to put Berlin? <laughs> Going to move it across the globe. Hippa new to this league, but she has been a pro since 2006. So no surprise here. Nice connection there with Valentin Anderson. Overpass put away by Tori Dixon. Great to see Tori Dixon out there, native of Minnesota, suffered a couple of knee injuries that have hampered her efforts to participate in Athletes Unlimited the last couple of seasons. Early start. Valentin Anderson, the aggressor, up 4-2. Quick in the middle, Ali Bastianelli. Yeah, interesting to me to see as a setter captaining the team, who are those middles that they go and get right away off of the draft board? And Ali Bastianelli, a pretty good pick, I would say, because of the fact she's such a great two-way player. She can get it done offensively and defensively. Yeah, defensively has been where she's really peaked her value, been amongst the league's top blockers. Bad pass, that ball is tight, tough play. Someone's in the net, and it's team balance in Anderson. Bastianelli going right at Luke's here in serve receive, forcing her to pass force. They're out of system the entire way. And that, that's trouble. It's actually on the follow through as she's coming down that she catches a piece of that net. He's Bastinelli at the line. Vincent taking a lot of court, and that pays off. Smooth to the outside, Katie Lukes with another kill off that exceptional fast delivery. Only possible because of the first contact of Amanda Vincent, as you point out, does a great job handling the ball there, and that allows Valentin Anderson to go with tempo. Really quick set to the outside, and Lukes wipes it off those hands. Dixon serving deep, long run on the outside. Here's some more defense from Nunaville. Tips don't go as often professionally as they did in college. <laughs> Presley with a big cut there. Do you go back to her again? No, this time to the middle. That's middle on middle defense. I love it. And the throw cross court for the winner, Nia Reed. And there is a tip that does go for a winner because it is so well placed. By a push or a tip? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How about the first push by Yasiana Presley and the save deep there by Nunaveller? Gorgeous. Ball control early in the middles are benefiting. That is going to be Shelly Fanning in orange out of the middle. Historically speaking, the middles, like in all areas of volleyball, do not get as many looks. But both of these teams, as you mentioned, the ball control early, allowing them to establish some middle rhythm, and that's going to open things up on the outside. Quick to the outside, Presley with a hammer. That ball's still alive, but he's not going to come back. That's Yana Presley. That was her play first time a few years ago at Baylor, and Maria Ruiz came to mind in terms mm -hmm. of her arm. Mm -hmm. The arm is what, what, what keeps you coming back, wanting more, but I've been really impressed with her ball control and serve receive so far here this evening. They've gone after her in serve receive, forcing her, forcing her to make first contact, and she's holding her own. That tip finds the block and then down. Nutsara back on top, 7-6. That's Nutsara alongside McCage, who has just been very successful in t over the course of two seasons here at AU, playing in the middle. Another big swing from Luke's on the left. 
Now, if you don't know how this works, you see it says set one of three on the right. We're going to play three sets no matter what. The win is done on aggregate. So we're going to add up all three scores. Every point vitally important. Even though we're still dividing it into sets, we're going to finish with a score, say, 75-59, 75-65, something like that. And we'll keep you updated as we go along as to how this whole thing works. That ball is on the line, so I'll say this time. And we also have scoring points for the players, because obviously it's an individual title. You get win points. It should hopefully account for 60%. This is a guesstimate, the goal of the league, of your points. 40 for each set, 60 for the overall win. Your individual stats, every action earns you a point or loses you some volume of points. The spanning is stopped there. And then there's MVP points. You can also win points by being voted MVP by your fellow players mm -hmm. or by the Unlimited Club. They also get a vote. And Chasse just earning herself some points. We saw a kill moments ago, and she follows that up with a stuff block. Added in this year is plus two for middles on an assist block. So Ali Bastianelli will rack up a couple points as well. Yeah, but if you're going to get a one-on-one, -on -one, that's still going to be plus 12. Absolutely. Yeah, big points scored with aces, blocks, and kills. Lots of points lost via attack errors, mm -hmm. setting errors, and passing errors. Finally, the setters pay for their bad sets, <laughs> Missy Whittemore. Wait, we don't have any of those. Are you kidding? It's never <laughs> our fault. 9-8 to meet Sara. Of course, every night we have two matches. Teams play three times throughout the weekend and then get recomposed. The left side attack of Team Mutsar is proving lethal early. Yeah, a deathly sharp angle by Claire Chasse here early in this match. She is forcing that off side attacker to play defense and catches Nunnerveller a little short in the court there. Claire Chasse played at Louisville, part of that program's rise to national prominence. Another middle attack, Dixon once again collects the point. Valentin Anderson finding Dixon there. There are only two players on this squad, and neither of them are attackers on the Orange team that Valentin Anderson has ever played with at AU. All new attackers for her. And that's wild. They've been playing together since Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Outside again, and more success. This time it's the opposite in rotation one, Mia Reed. So the pins for Team Nude Sara are really enjoying the yeah. touch of, of Nutsara Tonkong. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, the ball is always in the right window. She happens to be an NCAA champion, but I think even a non-champion could get a kill off of Nutsara. If we put you out there, what do you yeah. think? <laughs> I'm going to go with no for myself. <laughs> Unless there's no one on the other side. Tip that time. Oh, a charging Kendall White picks it up. A little bit more pace this time. Will it find the edge? Yes, it will. Not without a great second effort from Claire Chasse, who covers so much ground as a defender. We're going to get a replay here on the Kendall White pickup. Incredible. Kendall White in her first season. I loved her coach. She said, I'm vertically challenged in a tall woman's sport. <laughs> Come on, Kendall. You're 5'7". But she owns that libero position, doesn't she? Has played three seasons in France. Has had stints with the women's national team as well. As Nutter Biller is back to the line once again. <laughs> Presley, OT backline winner. We were talking about the points earlier. Here's the breakdown of how they work. You're going to see there that the kill is plus eight. And you mentioned earlier the attack error actually minus 12. So a kill doesn't totally erase an error. It pays to be efficient. You can have some big swings. What's wild, you think about an ace serve. You're used to it being one point on the scoreboard. Is that ball going straight down from hip -hop. You're used to an ace being a point on the scoreboard. But in fact, here, a service ace is a 24-point swing. Right. It's plus 12 for the ace for the server. It's minus 12 for the receiver who made the error. That's, like, that's putting a little emphasis on the serve pass game, huh? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's an example. Thank you. Now, I don't know which player gets that error. I think Claire Chasse is going to take the error there. She touched the ball. But thought, should I, it have I been didn't, I didn't think you'd give it to her. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's. I, I'm glad I don't have to make those decisions. Have to wait for the official score. Bad pass there. Cross court. Nice range. 
Valentin Anderson continues to really target Presley and serve receive, and particularly right now she's a front row player. So forcing her to pass balls. And you see Nutsara step back, talk to her team just a little. I have to wonder if it feels different for Nutsara to be out there playing as the captain with that management role now as well. I know other players have mentioned that, that when they are captain, mm -hmm. there's so much to do off the court in yeah. deciding who's going to play, when they're going to play. Mm -hmm. We do have facilitators, but to be clear, the captains are in charge. They have the final say on everything throughout the week. I talked to Cassie Lickman about it prior to the match, actually, from her former playing days, how she felt about being the captain versus playing without being the captain. And she seemed fine with it, that, that she has that mentality to control things, which is why she is now the director of volleyball at AU. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. The, the Cassidy Lickman reign of terror That's right. has begun. She actually said, yeah, I'm just here to do whatever the players say. Now I'm the one who has to implement it. <laughs> Again, Presley targeted. She'll get this high ball well off the net. Connor Miller, Valentin Anderson outside the loops. Again, loops. Harder this time, and it's a winner. The heavy arm of Katie Lukes gets it done. But as I sit here and watch, Chausse in middle back for blue, Nunaviller in middle back for orange, just mirroring each other with their great movement. Team Valentin Anderson has hit 15. Team Nutsara trails by two. Time for a technical timeout. Our first set of the first match of AU Volleyball season three. We're underway in Mesa. Welcome back to Athletes Unlimited Volleyball, where we had our first draft on Tuesday. And here's how these teams came together. So first, you have Natalia Valentin Anderson. She has done this thing before. She's a three-time captain, but this roster is not one she's played with. Only two athletes she's been on the court with before, and Rye Santos and Amanda Benson. I asked her about her number one pick, Brooke Nenneveller. Why Brooke? She said she's the complete player. If you know Natalia, she's all about attitude and effort, and she saw that in Nunaviller at the scrimmages. Team identity for this orange squad. Natalia said they're intentional and tactical with their touches and communication. And then you have Team Nutsara. She is a captain for the first time, but she handled that draft like a pro. We've mentioned how we're seeing big arms from Team Nutsara. Yasiana Presley, although she was drafted as an opposite, she's playing in the outside. That's because they wanted to work in Nia Reed. And then you have Claire Shaw say she balances this team with consistency and ball control. Their identity, they're a strong pass passing team, and they take on that happy-go-lucky spirit of their captain, Newt Sara. Kevin, Missy, back to you guys. Thanks, Savannah. And we were chatting about the responsibilities of the captain, but mm -hmm. really an opportunity to craft your team in the image that you see. And you would think for two setters, which we're making history here tonight, never had two setters as captains in the same week. So history being made, and particularly at the setting position, to be able to hand choose your attackers seems like quite a luxury. You can experience the action of AU Volleyball in person here in Mesa, Arizona. Get your tickets now at auprosports.com slash tickets. This is just night number one. We will be here for five weeks in a row, three nights per weekend. 
Friday, Sunday, and Monday. We're going to make your viewing very easy. Over the next five weeks, we have everything planned for you as Marlon McCage gets an opportunity on the back slide. Luke's. Such a contrast, Luke's on the pin compared to the pin hitters on the other side as McCage, who loves that back slide, picks up the kill. McCage, two looks over the course of that rally. Nutsara really emphasizing the middle right now, and she capitalizes on that second swing. Mom McCage, three-time All-American selection at Texas. And a staple of this league, member of the player executive committee that guides every decision about this program. And how about that, Nutsara Tomcom? I think we saw it in her highlights coming in from last year. She can block. Nutsara at five foot seven, but don't let that deceive you. Look at this right here as she goes up strong and seals the line. Luke's tight to the net, dealt with by Valentin Anderson. How does Valentin Anderson come up with that win? What a great push as she turns on the ball there. So Valentin Anderson and Luke's will serve. Team Nutsara, who's been riding the pins, Chasse three for three, Reed three for four. And you'll see on a Presley also with a number of impressive kills. And right back to it, Chasse. Mentioned moments ago that Nutsara really pushing the middle to Molly McCage. Well, because of that, it holds the middle blocker in orange that time. Fanning has to fade with Molly McCage, and the quick push to the outside from Nutsara is all sorts of open net for Claire Chasse. Perfect pass, a little fade kill there for Shelly Fanny. Shelly Fanny taking a break from running her equestrian center. Is this a break? I don't know. This looks kind of like hard work right now. I don't know. Is taking care of horses harder than playing yeah, volleyball? Yeah. I would, I would yeah, say so. I think you're right. Yeah. Teaching people to ride is probably a little more stressful, <laughs> too, than doing it yourself here. There's a block. Dixon alongside Valentin Anderson. Or Natty. A couple of national team vets, Valentin Anderson making an Olympic roster. Jordan Dixon being oh so close, so often two-time alternate for the USA women and longtime valued member to that team. The setters for these two teams are surprisingly good blockers. I think the outsides are expecting to have some easy shots down the line, and it's just not happening. How about if you just go off the hands and out? Exactly. The, the reaction there from Valentin Anderson, though, is she just slaps her hands. Boy, she wanted that one back. So Nutsara to the back row. There'll be three hitters across the front. Bastinelli, Reed, and Chasse. Benson, perfect delivery. Back row, Presley. The deuce delivers. Yasiana Presley just coming at you from a different level. The height of her attack, the speed of her arm swing. And out of middle back, she just has the entire court there. That ball just long, no touch call. I'm struck by how communicative Valentin Anderson is on the court with her team. Obviously, we've mentioned that she's the captain, she's running things, and she really, she huddles them up and talks between each point. Tip, Chasse was waiting. Read a little early. None of it bangs it through. The pace of the game is already impressive. It is. And moments ago, none of it didn't look too happy with that out call on her previous attack. She was in, seemed to be in disbelief. No question about this one. A little 31 go mm -hmm. from the top and left side. So both setters now to the back row. We'll have full complement of hitters. Oh, but forget it. That looked like an ace serve. Not called. Read over the top winner. Could we get a challenge? There's an indication right away from Brooke Lenneville that we should have a captain's challenge. Looks to me like Valentin Anderson is headed to the up official to indicate that that is the case. So we'll have a captain's challenge to determine if that serve hit the ground at the very beginning of that play for the moment. It's Team Nutsara, 20 to 19, in a first set where no one has led by more than three. I 
We'll make you the replay official. Let's see oh, one goodness. Oh, that's down. That's clearly down. Yeah, that's down. So here's the wild thing. You're going to wipe away what would have been a plus eight for a kill mm -hmm. for Reed and assist and all the points that go with it there. And you're going to go for a 24-point swing. Mm. Press is going to pick up negative 12. Yeah. And Natalia Valentin-Anderson is going to pick up plus 12. And Valentin Anderson, at this point in the set, really winning that serve pass battle. And we saw that Nutsara considered their team a strong passing team. So that's something they're going to have to sort out. They're giving a couple of captains challenges per set here to correct or challenge the referees. I guess correct is if you're right, challenge is if you are wrong. So sure. We don't know which one of those are until the ruling is made. Maybe one more look at it. So you at home can make a definitive call yourself. And you see there, Neary backing out. And Yasiana Presley comes flying in. So just some miscommunication there about who's going to handle serve receive. Two challenges per match. Challenges can be used for the review of in, out, ball on the floor, net or block touch, and the line faults of all manner. Mm -hmm. So we need to mark those off, too, as used. That was a, a good long challenge there. It Time was. to go get a Gatorade and come back. I said earlier that we're going to make your viewing easy for you at home. Hope you enjoy. We're going to be on the ESPN family of networks on Friday, Sunday, and Monday. We're going to be at the same time through the season. And the only time change that we're going to experience here in Arizona is the actual time change, because it doesn't change here, and it changes in other places. That's right. So tonight we have Valentin Anderson taking on Newt Sara. So tonight in the nightcap, we're going to have Team Edmund taking on Team Delacruz. And Valentina Anderson, her first challenge of the season and her first successful challenge of the year. And now just to slow things down a little bit more, we will have a time out. Team Nutsara now trailing 20 to 19 via that challenge. A tight first set. Who is gonna strike first in the aggregate? Who's gonna take the first 40 team win points? We're gonna answer that when we get back. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Athletes Unlimited Volleyball on ESPN is sponsored by Nike and by Aspiration, a global leader in financing climate impact. First set, first match action, 2019 Team Valentin Anderson over Team Nutsara. Athletes Unlimited and Tops have unveiled their first ever set of player trading cards that feature all four athletes Unlimited sports combined in one set. That's all of them. That's 200 cards set, 185 athletes. You can pick it up at Target, Barnes & Noble, Hobby Shops, and throughout Tops.com and Fanatics.com. They're everywhere. Look at your set today. Be a fan of the game. Back to action here. Valentin Anderson trying to extend this lead. Cannot do it. Reed's going to pick up their, that block. No half for the middle. 
Yeah, Nia Reed is a huge stuff on the left side as she stays out there off of serve receive. Claire Chasse hanging out on the right side, and it pays off for that, have that big Nia Reed block. Big for her side, because 22 20 feels a lot worse than 20 all as you get over the top, and then an ace to follow. Plus 12 for Chasse. Chasse so well rounded. Defense, offense, put her at the service line. Good results all the way around. Benson has trouble with that one. A little miscommunication. Presley, sharp. Hip up. The dig, now the swing. A little backslide action for Valentin Anderson to dig it. Longest rally of the match. Big swing, just wide. No touch point to Mutsar. Both teams in situations where their setters are forced to make first contact. That's why we get that long rally there out of system. Some out of system swings and that final one out of system as well. Nice choice there by White to let that one go. Looks like we're going to give another challenge here, Kevin. I think Valentin Anderson says we've got it in our pocket. Why not use it? And they're motioning that they think Nutsara was in the net at, at some point during that rally. So back to the review we go, this time at 22-20. What a switch up it was. Team Nutsara thought they had a 20-19 mm -hmm. lead. Only be reversed and have it be 20 all. Now they've scored two in a row. Taking a look here to see if over the course of this rally we see any net violation on Team Nutsara there in the blue jerseys. You get two per set, I have to agree. If there's any chance, this is the time to go ahead and throw it out there. And boy, you start to understand how important those win points are over the course of a match. When you see these challenges being thrown out here late, these teams are battling right now for this first set because there are some serious points on the line. Yeah, you have two per set, so use them as you pointed out. And you're talking about those win points. Mm -hmm. It is 40 points per set. And you get those the moment you win that set, those points are yours. They go up on the leaderboard. We have live updating of our individual leaderboard throughout the match. If you win the match, you get an additional 60. So when we get to that third set, we have 100 points still on the line in just team points, those win points, which should account for 60% of your total mm -hmm. in any given match or throughout the entire year. Valentin Anderson very quick to point out that as she's drafting her team, she knows that the win points are what's going to put you over the edge at the end of the year. Yes, stat points are important, but she is looking to put together a group that is cohesive, that can win a match. They know how important that is. And she said that's another, you know, one of the reasons that she did go with Nunaviller, that Nunaviller understood that mindset. And Nunaviller, one of those players that could benefit from the overall points and the way they work. She is so active in the back row, as you've seen already in this first set. I, I see no touch here. Tong Nguyen has been in the replay booth for some time again. And I do like the replay in terms of the, or the challenge in terms of the game and getting it right, mm -hmm. has to be quick. Yeah, I, I love the fact that we're getting it right. That is the goal, and so I think we can all agree on that. But when it's slow at the end of a set like this, you just have to wonder what sort of impact is it going to have on the mojo of what's happening out there. You know, mascot battle or something happening out here. I wonder if maybe the Coyotes available. Could do some dives under the net or something. Rile up the crowd while we're having a, a challenge. All right, so Team Nutsar is going to keep that a 3-0 run. Mm -hmm. And, of course, following pattern, we will have a challenge followed by a timeout. 
as this first set gets closer to conclusion. Creeping closer to conclusion. <laughs> but every one of these points are so important. So important that you, you have to fight for every single one, whether it be a challenge mm -hmm. or whatever it may be, you have to. Throughout the season, we're going to have people in the chair get a chance to get to know the athletes during the match. Is that, is that Mia Parker Robinson over there? Is that? I see you over hey. there. <laughs> Mia Parker Robinson, welcome to Athletes Unlimited. Thank you. I'm having such a wonderful time. What was your reaction to joining the league? Um, it's been incredible to play alongside 44 or 43 other great, talented athletes. We're in the gym every day helping each other get better. And then you get the best competition, like we've seen here in set one. It's 2022. 20, it's been a nail biter, and that's just a snippet of what it's going to look like this season. Mia, you start your career at Northwestern and use your extra year to go on and play a season at UNC. Interestingly, in this league, you have to be able to adapt. I mean, week to week, you're on a different team. What is challenging about that for you? Um, the biggest challenge for me has been I love these girls, and when we become a team and we have a team name and we're all riding for each other, it's so hard to see that go away in just one week, and it's like, we only have one week together to get the most out of everybody and to be with this team. And you will never be with this team again, most likely. So you really got to push and get all those points together while you can. Can you contrast that to your seasons in Greece and Puerto Rico playing professionally? Yeah, um, there you get a little bit more time to work on your team and your team chemistry, but still you're fighting for every point. I think a lot of us have shared experiences overseas, and definitely this is the most unique with the point system, the causes we play for, and just the overall way it's uh, organized. Nia, yeah, thanks. It looks like we're going to wrap up the first set here. Yeah, go Orange. Let's go. All right, go Orange. Yeah, the, the gear that they get each each week, the captain will buy some gear, some glasses or something will come into play or okay. special colors. I'm excited to see the gold jerseys this year. Uh -huh. These Nikes, these gold Nikes are going to go well yeah. with those gold jerseys. Black serious, with gold numbers. Serious swag when you're on the gold team. Yeah, nice switch up for gold. I love it. Right side, out of the timeout and challenge. Nana Villa for the moment, Doug. High ball. Thrown. And down. Totally legal play these days in the game. And Team Nutsara goes on a 4 0 run right now to 23 20. Nutsara had originally wondered if she would use Yasiana Presley as an opposite, but she said that Yasiana was too good at the left side and she needed to have Nia Reed involved, and it's paying off. Their pins have looked top shelf in set number one. That ball is going to be long. No touch called. They put one of the call, but did not get it. So it's a set point for Newt Sarin. Rally performance here. Trailing mm -hmm. by one as we headed into 20. Now looking to close out this first set. You don't want to give any points back. It's on aggregate scoring. You can't just give up a run here. How about give up nothing? Giant lip. Kendall White playing the angle. Does she have another one? No, it's the Matrix for the win. Kendall White playing some good volleyball just by playing dodgeball in the back court there. Late a couple of dives to get out of the way of some big swings that result in points for Blue and a first set win. Diving out of the way to complete the 6-0 run for Team Nutsara. Nutsara Tomcom and the women in blue are headed to set number two with a five-point lead in the overall.
Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. The first set of Athletes Unlimited Volleyball is in the books with Team Nutsaria taking it 25 to 20. And they made some adjustments in that first time out that paid off for them. Nutsara instructed their libero, Kendall White, to drop back, try and take more of Yasiana Presley's balls and serve receive. She was being targeted by Team Valentine Anderson. She had 11 of their 21 serve receive passes in that first set and it paid off for them. They want to open her up more often on offense and we're seeing their pins get after it in the first set. All right, welcome back. Kevin Brown alongside Missy Whittemore. We just heard from Savannah Collins covering all of the action of match number one of two for this evening and opening night of season three. It's our Tomcom beautiful sets in that first. Yeah, and great information from Savannah there because if there was one negative for Newt Sara's team in that first set, it was some issues in serve-receive. And so as they build that chemistry here in match one of the weekend, there will be some growing pains. How much of the court will Kendall White pass for them? I think it's got to be about 50% at least, and I think that area will grow for her as they learn to pass next to it, one another over the course of the weekend. We saw Team Valentin Anderson, too, struggle with some of that communication, force the sport of volleyball, one of the most highly technical relationship games, communication games out there. What will the blocker next to me do? What will the receiver next to me do? What is the exact ball that somebody needs? And yeah. everybody's trying to sort that out. Yeah, and in a game where communication is vital, Valentin Anderson makes her a great captain because keep an eye on her and just how much she is talking between points, between every play, right in the ear of her attackers doing a really nice job. As we said, lots of newcomers to AU in orange, but Valentin Anderson, a wealth of experience. We have a lot of newcomers in the league this year. We've already seen some of them make an impact in this match. Claire Chausse early on, Yasiana Presley, Brooke Nunaviller on the other side. Second match is going to be much the same. We're going to see Ali Stumler, Linehan now, but you may remember her as Ali Stumler from her time at Kentucky in the collegiate game. Lindsay Vanderweide out of another, well, Oregon. Mm -hmm. We're just going to say that about 100 times yeah. <laughs> over the next few weeks here. Lots of ducks and the return of Willow Johnson. We'll see how she does at the opposite position. A lefty. A lot, lots more top shelf volleyball to come here from Mesa, Arizona and the Legacy Park. All right, so two of three. If you were to write a prescription, Dr. Whittemore, mm -hmm. what would it be for Team Valentin Anderson to eliminate this plus five lead for Team Nutsara? You know, I, I felt like early in that set, both setters doing a good job sort of establishing the middle. 
And I think if the ball control is there for Orange, I don't think this is just my prescription, but I expect Valentin Anderson to go back to that, try to get some quick middle kills. Obviously, that's going to open things up for her pins, who really had a lot of pressure on him there over the course of that, sec of that first set. All right, they're going to sort out where everyone should be on the starting card. But Dania De La Cruz, we're going to see her in this next match. Our champion from 2022, the runner-up in 2021, in the inaugural season set all kinds of records last year. Who do you think can challenge Betty for the championship? You know, I think it's going to take a complete player who can score points offensively and defensively. We're looking at a couple of them here, a couple of new ones to AU and Claire Chasse and Brooke Nunaviller. You know, could it be someone out of the gate, brand new to the league, that could jump to the top of the board? Will it be a center? That's a good question. I mean, Missy's hoping. Of course I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Missy Woodham-Wells from the collegiate standout at the center position. A longtime veteran of the volleyball broadcast game. Catch her ac across collegiate games as well as here throughout the Athletes Unlimited season. We're underway in set two. It's a backslide to Bastianelli, who we heard from early in that first. She'll play that one up with the hands. Outside, Chasse, long. Looking for a touchdown, getting it. This looks like a clean contact in number 11. Looking for a touch, and interestingly, I think Nusara would have considered a challenge. Claire Chasse says to her, no, 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 no. It's too early in the set. Don't waste it. But realize that that's negative points for Claire Chasse, and yet she's willing to give those up right there, knowing that it's better to go for those win points. Still working on Presley. Chasse with a tip. She'll get another shot here. Joust ball pokes it over. Right side, go inside out move yeah. from Chasse. Really nice footwork by Hippa there to put herself in a nice position to take a swing at that ball. Played up by Valentin Anderson. We've got some secondary setting from Benson. And it goes inside a little bit. The wrist action saves it. Another short serve. Did that one find the floor? It was close. Chasse snaps it over the top. Nona Villa with the dig, and now the swing. Almost a beach player trying to scoop and deliver there. Over the top of Dixon. Off Presley. Hard to get a kill in the Athletes Unlimited gym. Third swing for Nunaviller has it. 3-0 open for Valentin Anderson. They're already closing the gap. Nutsara's team, again here, not solid in serve receive, and that creates a situation where they're behind this entire point, playing defense after defense, rally after rally, and against Brooke Nunaviller, eventually you're going to come out on the short end of that stick. Nunaviller, five kills, 290. And a nice now for Valentin Anderson, her second. And an extended huddle here for Team Nutsara as they're discussing serve-receive responsibilities. Good job there serving seams by Valentina Anderson going after Yasiana Presley, but also Claire Chasse, who could possibly step in to help with that, is in the front row, and she's thinking attack here, so it creates issues. This time it is Chasse with the pass. It's perfect. She gets in her attack pattern and nearly has Valentina Anderson KO. <laughs> So Chasse, as a front row player collegiately, is probably pretty quick to step out of serve receive and let that player in middle back go ahead and pass that. But she takes a bigger passing responsibility there as Yasiana Presley struggling a little in serve receive and takes first ball. Over the top, nice clean attack by number two, Brooke Winneville. He's a Spanish speaker. This is going to be your environment. Uh, have you met uh, Auri Cruz or Betania Dela Cruz? Well, Auri Cruz, have I met? No, I'm talking about the Spanish speaking here of uh, Brooke Nunaviller. Oh, I think she should get in yeah, and yeah. get into the Spanish. Absolutely good chance for her to practice. With Natalia Valentina Anderson or maybe Damaris. And that overpass is taken care of in the first set. It was Team Nutsara with the rally. It was a 6-0 run to finish here. It's 6-1 to open for Valentina Anderson. We are tied up 26 apiece in the overall. We're going to get a substitution here for Team Nutsara. As you just mentioned, Ari Cruz, and she will take the floor. A very experienced professional, spent her collegiate days at the University of Florida where she is already a member of the Hall of Fame as a Gator great. A long time professional and still capable of some yeah. offensive output. 
OT, that ball, two touches, but well out of bounds. As we look at our leaderboard, Claire Chasse, you see right there, 99 points. She is number one right now. This thing is continually changing play by play. Okay, we do have a setter up there at the top of the board right now. Love to see it. Valentin Anderson at fourth, Tom Com at second. How about White, a Libero in fifth? The other thing you notice here, there are only three players clad in orange right. who are inside of our top ten. That's because of those win points. They're already up there, 40 of them given to Team Nutsara for that first set victory. And you can lose points if you're not familiar with how Athletes Unlimited Volleyball works. A service error is negative eight to your points. So you can rise and fall precipitously at any point in the match. Serve pass game is a struggle right now for Team Nutsara. Ari Cruz, smart play there. Still trying to warm mm -hmm. up, I imagine. That ball's tight. Doesn't matter, big swing. Was anyone in the net? No call. Right side again, high hands. Back row, Chasse, winner. Big rip by Chasse, but I say all kinds of credit to Ari Cruz over the course of that long rally, just doing the small ball plays really well. Pushing it into the block and giving her team second chances, and finally with a better in-system rhythm, it's Claire Chasse who finishes it off. Right side attack, off balance, covered by Benson. And again by Benson, right back up off the turf. Nice gather by Reed, got some steam on that one. Backward tip is good into the campfire. I mentioned earlier in the match that watching Chasse and Nunaviller, it's as though they mirror one another in middle back. Well, guess what? Moments ago, Chasse with a kill out of middle back, and Nunaviller matches it. This one of the off-speed variety. Siaskia, Hippa, said volleyball's been the center of her attention since nine. That's an early start. Very early. How about a big block by Katie Lukes, the USD star. What a season it was for the Toreros in 22. And boy, how about the discipline and the strength of the left hand drops it and turns it right back in bounds. Six foot two, first year pro at AU on the outside. And we have a timeout called now by Team Nutsara. Team Valentin Anderson has a six point advantage here in the second set. They have erased that overall and in fact now lead in the overall. For every ace during this year's Athletes Unlimited Volleyball season, Aspiration is committed to planting 10 trees. Stay tuned throughout the season to see how many trees will be planted thanks to Aspiration's support. We built a forest last year. I was going to say, if it didn't yeah. happen last year, we're going to be well on our way to a forest by the end of this one. I want to go wander through the Aspiration Forest. That's where <laughs> I need to head between matches. Just get a little R&R. &R. Sounds kind of nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. All right, see, so Valentin Anderson has definitely rebounded here. Total aces are three already, so we have 30 trees planted for this year, but mm -hmm. two on the Valentin Anderson side, and two for the captain. Mm -hmm. Both of them dropped short. All right, we talked before about who could maybe get in on the championship chase from a standpoint of individuals, and as we look at our leaderboard, I wondered if a middle blocker might get in there. And how about an opposite, or maybe is an opposite asked to clean up too much garbage? Do you have just too many off-balance swings and too many big cuts? I, I think, yeah. I mean, I don't think necessarily. I think, you know, when if these teams can be in rhythm in terms of their serve pass game, I don't think that has to be the case. I think you definitely could see an opposite get involved. Not surprised to see Bastianelli and McCage there in the top ten because if there are two middles in this league who could make a run, to maybe be the first middle blocker captain ever, I think those are two who could possibly do it for sure. Now we're gonna talk a lot about how the scoring works on an individual basis. We're gonna give you the positives, the negatives. You're gonna see players rise and fall throughout the year, throughout a match, throughout an evening or a weekend. You're gonna be able to chart all that, but here's the bottom line. 
if your team isn't winning, mm -hmm. you are not going to lead mm -hmm. this league. That is just not how it's going to work. If we look back to last season and the results, but Donnie De La Cruz piled up the stat points. Of that, there is no doubt. However, she also piled up a ton of win points. Yeah, absolutely. Your team is winning, you are getting it done. And that is why, as you pointed out, it's a different mindset for me calling an AU match for the first time as at the end of that first set, you were quick to point out, you know, you don't want to give up anything. You've got that 24-20 lead and you want to close it out immediately because the points accumulate over the course of the match. And then you're going to end it at the MVP points as well as you get a look at some of the performances from Badania De La Cruz. You're going to hear her name a ton this year. 660 MVP points by far and away the top score last year with that. And she does it on the outside, as does Yasiana Presley, who might be in that category this year. She definitely could be because of her arm. We've seen her get into some trouble here in this match early with serve received. And so we have seen a substitution. But obviously, no doubt, when you see her take a swing at the ball with that arm, she could certainly be in the run. And she's in the chair chat now. Yasiana, it's a pleasure to have you in the league. A, a pretty big assignment for you coming in outside hitter. Tell me about the transition there going to the outside it is comfortable but I am struggling a little bit which is okay there are so many great athletes here and it's just a grind so I'm excited to be here excited to keep learning and keep growing yeah Tiana obviously you have all sorts of volleyball experience can you just talk to us for a little bit about what has made this particular experience unique in your volleyball walk so far being here at AU being here at AU this experience definitely has been so unique with Coming out here with 44 amazing athletes, being drafted, you can go first round, you can go last round, but all of us are phenomenal athletes out here, which is so unique, and it's so special to be a part of this and um, just compete with these beautiful athletes. Now, Yasiana, of course, a lot of questions asked coming in, new to the league, we need to learn about you. You put pickleball on your list, and there are some courts not far from the hotel. Are we getting some games this weekend or what? You know what? I feel like I could get some games going this weekend. I love pickleball. I play it all the time with my fiance and his family and, and our family. And it's just a privilege to compete in a sport that seems so easy, it's so hard, and it's so awesome, it's so fun. So I'll definitely be out there this weekend if I can. Okay, in your crew, who's most likely to spend a ton of time in the kitchen where they don't belong? I'm sorry? In your crew of players, who's most likely to be in the kitchen? Ooh. Uh, I would say Molly, just because she's so aggressive. She has those long legs, and she would for sure be in the kitchen. But she'll make one mistake and then fix it after that, for sure. All right, I look forward to getting those matches going. I want to see oh, yeah. some, some talent out there. Welcome to the league, your team here. Hey, that first set, you had a nice rally. You guys came back. Why did you function so well in the first set? Um, I believe I functioned so well in the first set because Team Blue is just a great group of girls. We have a lot of connections going. We flow together. We have a lot of synergy. So it's easy to get those long rallies and stay focused throughout the match. I feel like we are very level-headed, and we have some older, some younger, and it just works out very well. Talk to us about playing with Newt Sara, regarded as one of the greats across the game. Beautiful contact every time on second ball. What's it been like to connect with her? Oh, it's been so awesome. She's such a, an elite athlete who knows a lot about the game, high IQ, and even though she's tiny, she's so mighty, and <laughs> she can get anywhere on the court. So it's just awesome to play with her and have a consistent setter. Fantastic. Yosiana, thanks for joining us. You guys won the challenge. You're looking to get back in the second set. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Team Newt Sara and Yosiana Presley. Minus five in this set, but we are tied at 29 in the overall. That is the important part. That is going to determine the win or the loss. The overpass, just enough defense there from Benson. Back row, Chasse. Blast on the right side goes long. There's another one for the women in blue. Kendall White with every option there as a secondary setter. She had both of her pins ready and waiting. And what does she do? She hangs it up in the middle of the court for Claire Chasse, the rookie, to go take a swing at. Here we go. Back to serve. Her athletic lineage going way back. There's a dig in the back row. And 
there's something different for the referees, isn't it? Yes, making adjustments up on the stand as well. Different rules with different levels of play. Nutsara went beyond the net extended, and the up official called that as not a violation. Can we get that changed in NCAA women's volleyball, please? It is not that way in the men's. You can yeah. run and get the ball. Yeah. And anyone who says player safety to me, I think you're incorrect. No, I, I think you should be able to go get it. We don't need to save these athletes from themselves. They can just as easily go get the ball the same as they can internationally for both men and women and on the men's side. That ball becomes Ari Cruz's first kill of season three, and it's followed by a bunch of hugs. How about the impact of Ari Cruz on this second set? Her impact in this match as she was inserted when things were not looking good for Nitsari here early in set two, and all of a sudden they're right back in this one. You have to be ready to go. Quick, missed, connection, and another point for Team Nutsara. So now they're not only climbing back into this set, they are up in the overall, plus three, 32, 29. And that overall, vitally important, that's 60 points for the victory in the overall. And you can see it on the faces of these athletes right now. They are very aware, aware of where they stand in that point total. Timeout called by Team Valentin Anderson. They're going to try and dial in their offense for Team Nutsar. It's a complete turnaround and smiles all around. Going to look there at one of the former collegiate stars, Nicole Edelman Cagliari, in her first season in Boulder, Colorado. I'm sure it's fun to see some of these experienced players step up in the huddles and sort of lead the way. That's what we're getting from Ari Cruz here. She was discussing defense with Kendall White, and just really their, their personalities shine through in those moments. The fans are in, second set underway, two-point lead for Valentin Anderson. Can they hang on to it? More from Mesa. Anderson with the lead here in the second set. As we look at our overall leaderboard, set her on top, 107 points. I like it. It's a history-making night. We have setters captaining both teams for the first time ever, so why not put one of them atop the leaderboard? Let's do why it. Not? Why not? It's just a setter party, and everyone <laughs> else is lucky to be on the guest list. You know it. That the best all. kind of party. Well, when you got Tom Com setting at AU, one of the best players in the entire world, not a surprise to see her up at the top. She plays with such a light-hearted attitude, a smile on her face, and her team started taking that on as they've looked like their back was against the wall a couple times and really rebounded here. You need to come out and join us at Legacy Park. You have five weeks to make the trip down here to outside of Phoenix, Arizona, into Mesa, Arizona, and be a part of Athletes Unlimited Season 3 Women's Volleyball. If you're going to watch, we hope you are now, we hope you are throughout. We're going to be 4 p.m. local and 6.30 p.m. local, and that will go all the way until we hit November 5th. Time here doesn't change. Everybody else will. It'll be 5 p.m., 7.30, 5 p.m. and 7.30, and we'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on each of our evenings of action. We will play on Friday, Sunday, and Monday for the next five weeks. We'll conclude on November 6th with a champion, another individual title holder in the sport of women's volleyball. First season, Jordan Larson. Last year, Betania De La Cruz. A long distance from now on into 2,000, 3,000 points in the win. Kevin Barnett alongside Missy Whittemore, Savannah Collins on the sidelines. We're glad you're here. Back row, Chasse in transition. Woo! Love watching Claire Chasse play volleyball. Tell you what, Ari Cruz up at the net, nice little block touch, and then she plays the ball up after the roll down the net. But Tom Com feeding the beast right now, which happens to be Claire Chasse out of the back row. It was a carnival duck type situation for Brooke Nunnaville. Luke's McCage with a touch and nobody there, despite a charging chasse. I don't think McCage ever saw that one right up above her own head. And that you see that so often, those middle blockers. Everyone else knows where it is and they can't find it. By the way, the most dangerous animal on the savannah, a charging chasse. Be careful. <laughs> You've been warned. A crash of chasses. That's if you have several of them together. That sounds very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ari Cruz trying to work off the block. Hippo with the dig. Nunnaville there a bit early. Nunnaville again, this time on time and push Ooh. for the win. Point, 
Everyone loves to rep Athletes Unlimited, and you can too. Be sure and check out all of our new volleyball merch, including the first ever Athletes Unlimited official replica jerseys. And you can get your fit right. Go to shop.auprosports.com to get yours today. Athletes Unlimited Volleyball presented by Nike. Match number one of two on the evening. 11-8. Team Valentin Anderson over Team Nutsara. That serve goes out of bounds. And Nutsara's serve receive will certainly take it because that has been the only chink in their armor so far today. Backslide. Benson with the cover. She's been everywhere underneath attacks. The team needs Sara. Picks up another point. They are in the double figures and within one in this set. 35-31, the overall score. You need to keep an eye on that one. See it right below the team names, the match score. That's the big one, 35-31. That's 60 points on the line. Block, cover Benson again. <laughs> I have to start some sort of Benson insurance program soon. <laughs> Chausey gets a kill. Too bad she's not still in college. I think that just shouts NIL deal. Have a bad attack? Having a rough day? You need coverage from Benson. Oh, I like it. Is the roof getting you down? <laughs> Benson will pick you up. Do you need a second job? I think you could write these. Yeah. I'm trying <laughs> pitching for my ad agency. Nutsara played it up. Reed, sweet hands to the outside. But it doesn't matter. The block this time belongs to Valentin Anderson's side. Fanning all over these balls up at the net. Big, strong block, 97 in orange. Now let's give 12 to 97. Absolutely. She earned them. And I do really appreciate the fact that they're giving the plus two to the middles for the amount of work they put in That's over true. the course of a long rally. They certainly deserve some extra. When they make that close and take away the angle, take away the seam, they're creating that block down the line that the outsides end up getting all the credit for. Right, they're trying to give other players an opportunity to rise up in that scoring matrix. Been working on that for a while, killed by McCage. It took an outstanding performance from Lawrence Dibbins last year, an incredible weekend to have her end up as captain. Unfortunately, we lost her to injury almost immediately. Well, and interestingly, what does Lauren Stiverns do so well? The slide, and she does it in a manner that looks very similar to what we just saw from Molly McCage right there. Molly McCage, obviously, one of the best at it as well. And I think you've got to have a strong side game as a middle blocker if you're going to look to score enough points to be at the top of the leaderboard here. That's why I think McCage has a chance. It's interesting you'll hear coaches talk about whether they have a slide middle or not a slide middle, or sometimes you have two slide middles mm -hmm. and you don't have and in front of or back of the setter middle. Yeah. And I would think that uh, for the more experienced captains, that's something they're considering in their draft selection process here. Tough short serve, Chasse slides under it. Free ball opportunity, can they convert? Not this time. White, bump set. Chasse, termination. And if you're Nia Reed, how much is the error, the hitting error in play in your mind over the course of that rally? When she chose to go with the easy shot, it actually pays off. It's the right choice because she extends the rally, gives her team another chance, and Claire Ch Chasse goes off for the kill. But you do have to wonder for these players if for the first time in their career they're much more aware of the hitting error. Yeah, it depends on the program you play, Dan. Yeah. That ball is killed by Nia Reed. I think this is the Carl McGowan Memorial Scoring System is what this is. <laughs> Carl hated hitting errors. Passed that on to Hugh McCutcheon, of course, coach of the USA Women's National Team, the USA Men's National Team, and mm -hmm. was a co coach for the Minnesota Gophers for many years. Hates hitting errors, so this incentivizes you not to make them. Yeah, and two very different coaching styles out there, and these players coming from probably one of the two, either those who absolutely hate hitting errors or those who say, we don't really care, we're looking at kill efficiency. I, I like kind of a caveman opposite approach. Just okay. Take a big cut. Okay. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> That's why I like watching Claire Chasse. There is a big cut, and it's smart down the line. I was going to say, I tend to think that your top players are those who like that big cut. Absolutely. Take a big cut, win some points. 
for yourself and your side. Team Nutsara looking for another plus 40 on their side. They're 10 away. So y'all want the tea? Well, <laughs> what kind do you want? You want super team tea steeped in drama from Sin City to Brooklyn? Or do you want something a little spicy? Because I got tea on all the trash talk in and around the W. <laughs> I saw y'all comments. We got sweet tea, bank shot tea, off-season tea, and don't forget the fits. But the tea party isn't over. I've got a lot more to spill. Every year, Thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate. Taking you into the action with the Air National Guard throughout the season, putting you at home right on the Athletes Unlimited Volleyball floor. Welcome back, 40 to 33 in the overall for Team Nude. Sara, Natalia Valentin Anderson, 83 points right now for her side, but she's looking for those win points, trying to gather mm -hmm. back in the second. Yeah, they still got an opportunity here in this second one within two of Nutsara and looking to turn things around. They had that early lead and have let it slip. Set points plus 40 when you take a set victory. That goes immediately into your overall score, plus 60 for the win. And that is done on the aggregate score you see along the bottom. The match score right now, 40 to 33. So Team Nutsara, if we end it right here for some weirdo reason, mm -hmm. it would be plus 60 for Team Nutsara. It is possible to lose two sets and, and win the match. Absolutely. We've had it happen a number of times. Sassi with the kill, and Saskia Hiba. And you mentioned the fact with the opposites be able to have a big impact on this one in terms of points on the leaderboard, Hippa and Nia Robinson, both with some big swings. Sixteen, fourteen now, Team Newt Sara. Now normally it'd be bad news that your outside hitter goes to the back row. Mm -hmm. Just gonna play some defense and maybe hope the front rower hitters can clean it up. Not true with Claire. No. Just as much an option out of the backcourt as she is out of the front. Tough serve down that line, working on Luke's. Hippa unleashes another bomb from the right. Chaseno, as we just mentioned. Is this an assist for Ari Cruz? Goes and gets it and has the wherewithal to place it in a nice little window for Claire Chasse, outside to outside. Can't, not, cannot get any prettier than that. I like that, a nice little window. You see a flower box outside that window. <laughs> I think that's exactly what Chasse saw. <laughs> Benson will bump it. She's looking for an assist. Mm -hmm. And Hippa is happy to provide it, number 91 in orange. And Hippa, she's got an interesting approach. There's times where I feel like that the ball is not on her right shoulder. It looks like it's going to be a really difficult swing. And yet her footwork and then her wrist action. And boy, she's carving up the block right now. Well, she's been a pro since 2006. Yeah. And started playing volleyball at age nine. So yeah. I guess that helps a lot. Yeah, it's also easier to name off 
country she hasn't played in. Well, it's the yeah. country she has. Romania, Greece, Italy, Germany, Czech Republic. Five years in Greece for Olympiakos. One of the top clubs there. An absolute delight to see the international talent that the league continues to attract. Good pass, Luke is down on the ground, so you'll have to go hit her again, and she delivers. And you've talked about cleaning up some junk as an opposite. That was certainly not junk. With the production she's having, you saw there Valentin Anderson quick to go to her in system. That's one of the faster attacks we've seen from the right pin. Look at the push from Valentin Anderson. Get it all the way back there. Really pretty. So the international star will step back to serve. Speaking of international stars, we had Shayla in the league. In fact, completed her professional career here with Athletes Unlimited. Shayla Castro, the Brazilian legend, as that ball is missed off the quick attack defensively. And McCage, other side of the setter. Man, I like watching Nutsara. That delivery as she's coming off the net there and just like a near back bend, side set. Yes, gorgeous. Yeah, Molly said that Nutsara makes the most difficult set just look easy. Yeah, and, and Molly also said like constantly changing her set calls over the course of a long rally, verbally changing things, never know where I'm going. But as a middle, doesn't that make you so hard to defend? You gotta love that, right? That's a chance for you to score. Maria Schlegel checks in. Speaking of international talent, the Spanish national first season in Athletes Unlimited coming in as a serving sub, six foot outside hitter. 26 in orange, tough serve. Bump set with pace dug by Benson. McCage back to it. Benson standing in. Not quite. The way Molly McCage chases the slide play. Those who go at the slide tentatively, no success, but that is not the case for Molly McCage. We have three players from Puerto Rico, Thailand, Dominican Republic, all represented here in the league. Spain and Germany as well. All these players have represented their national teams. Several of them Olympians, and Bethany de la Cruz just helped Dominican Republic, a rejuvenated Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. a deadly potential medalist Dominican Republic qualify once again for the 2024 Olympics. Betty seems to be good at this game, huh? Oh, she just gets better and better. You're <laughs> going to see a real contrast, all the speed we've seen from lots of the outside hitters here. You're going to see some high ball kills from Betty. I look forward to that, the different styles of play that we're going to see over the course of the weekend. Chasse, 152, opening up a lead now. That was an annihilation. The dig even better. The cage missed wide right. What a dig. Nutsara and company actually started to celebrate. No one thought that ball was returnable off of the rip by Chasse. Set up by some of the slide plays we've seen early to McCade. Opens up things for Chasse, and it was a huge swing. All credit to the defense over there for returning that one. The crowd sucked the air out. They were ready. This was over. This is the end of the rally right here. Most of the time. No, says Maria Schlegel. Schlegel just checked in moments ago here in the second set, and that is a huge dig. So this ball went wide off the attack of McCage after this crush from Chasse. I love when the pony goes uh -huh. high. <laughs> Stumbler, too. Just that yes. violence at the point of attack, and the pony jumps straight up. I think it is a measure of how violently are you attacking the ball. Like, where is the pony? We could have, like, a chart of that. I think, yeah. I think we could go with an that. An angle. Yes. An angle, yes. Pony angle if you, determines, if you yes. A 90 degrees to floor pony angle equals a kill. Absolutely. 90% of the Absolutely. time, right? Absolutely. So that review here, challenge from Team Nutsara, is McCage on the back slide later after that dig that we loved. Was there a touch? I think there definitely was on the left hand of the outside. We had a look at the other angle, and the ball takes a hard right. Yeah, Kendall White was quick to object. She felt like she felt like this ball is in bounds. I'm not convinced that it's in bounds, but as you said, is there a touch? 
I think it's none of Villers' left hand that's going to catch that ball. Have to watch that reaction from Nana Villa. Is she quick to turn her back to the up official? Doesn't well, want to give anything away? Well, she looked like she was just sort of going back uh -huh. and then everyone's celebrating and then she dove like, into oh, celebration. Yeah, celebrate, that's right. Yeah. Take a look here. Some of these players, their face, oh yes, their face gives them away. Some of these players are just, oh, she kind of bites her lip there. She's like, oh, did they see that? And here's where communication comes in, right? If you're on the orange side, you have to be talking about the next side out because you know. You yeah. have to tell your yeah. teammates. You know, exactly. None of has got to say yes. That's going to be obvious in the replay. Moving on. The previous call has been reversed. So we will reverse it out as expected. Then a busy time over there in the review. How about some more points for Molly McCage, who as a middle is really making a surge here. Yeah, Molly McCage in at eight with 64 points at the moment. And as you pointed out earlier, I think such a good point if you're new to the scoring system here at AU. So much blue at the top of the leaderboard right now because they won the first set and have already been awarded those 40 win points. Yeah, and they're in the precipice of another 40 now. Good touch. McCage with the defense, perfectly played. Middle benefiting middle. If you had middle setter middle on your scorecard, go ahead and write it down. Yeah. Of course. I mean, it does not happen all the time. Middle, great first contact. I mean, right? No, actually, it doesn't. But it speaks to the athleticism of these particular middles. And the combination of Bastianelli and McCage is one that I would not want to see often. Bastianelli nearly had that one. Team Valentin Anderson trying to hang tough. They would love a 6-0 run yeah. to end this one the way Nutsara picked it up at the end of the first. And I've been impressed with Team Nutsara and their ability to string together points. They've gone on some really nice runs in certain rotations. They just get real comfortable. They put right side. First with her responsibility on defense, mm -hmm. then with the kill. Quietly going about her day. And all of a sudden, here she is, a standout in orange. 22-20, in the overall. Mitsara with the advantage. This set, remember, opened 6-1 for Valentin Anderson. Only to be tied at 12. Yeah, and with those set points on the line here, those win points in set two, boy, it feels like they could wipe all orange off the leaderboard if blue were to be awarded to set points for this one as well. Yeah, working for that 40. 16 in the overall. There's Bastianelli this time using none of the Miller's left hand receiving a battery. Nutsara's ability to connect with each and every teammate out there, you know, just puts, makes their attack, her attackers look so comfortable in those quick tempo sets. They just don't miss a thing. Defense this time from Nutsara. Nia Reed delivers another bump set to Chaucet. <laughs> and it's Nia Reed this time with the assist. That does score. Yeah, it absolutely does. They're doing a great job not allowing out of system play to overcome them, but their ball control has put them in the driver's seat. Plus one for Reed, plus eight for Chasse. Another dig. Chasse tips over the top and she'll pick up another eight points. The dig points will go to Kendall White on that exchange. And we have finished set number two. Talk about runs at the end of sets. Team Nutsara putting in the work and coming out on top. Nice little touch by Claire Chasse. They put another plus five on in this set for an overall lead of 50 to 40. Heading into set number three, looking to close out with a sweep. Team Nutsara, the women in blue, have been so good early on. Team Valentin Anderson trying to salvage. They'll need a big effort in the third.
First match of Athletes Unlimited Volleyball Season 3. It's been identical. 25-20 scores. Team Nutsara on top 50-40 in the overall trying to pull a sweep in the very first match of the year. Throughout this entire year, every ace that hits the floor during Athletes Unlimited Volleyball, Aspiration has committed to planting 10 trees. Stay tuned throughout the season to see how many trees will be planted thanks to Aspiration's support. We've planted a few already, Missy Whittemore. We are well on our way to a tree planting party. Aces have been wild here in our first match of the 2023 AU Unlimited season. Rookie Claire Chasse rings one up, and then veteran Valentin Anderson answers with one as well. So Team Valentin Anderson is going to need a ton of points in this third set if they're going to come back. You might wonder how this league comes together, how the league is governed, how decisions are made. Everything from the floor that's played on to the venue is decided by the players, and the player executive committee is the vehicle for this. Veterans of this league serving on the player executive committee now. Molly McCage, you've seen in this match. Deja McClendon, who will be out with a sprained ankle tonight, unfortunately, but played last year's. Taylor Bruins, Tegan Root, and Alicia Childress, and Aaron Fairs all serving on that committee. Molly McCage returning for her third season of AU, and she actually serves as the player executive committee chair this season. So lots of opportunity for input in this very much player run league. Yeah, a total change and a reorientation of how a league works. And it's done across multiple sports. Mm -hmm. If you're brand new to the Athletes Unlimited volleyball brand, we hope you'll check out the other sports, lacrosse, softball, basketball, all being played underneath the Athletes Unlimited volleyball banner. Now we've had excellent pin play. We knew that was gonna be the case with all the young talent coming into this year's league, Claire Chasse was on the radar. Yeah, we knew for Team Nutsar that she would be a go-to. Well, no question about it. She's taken 24 swings already after these first two sets and has 14 kills to show for it. You pointed out earlier, one of the reasons she is so dangerous is because her point scoring opportunities do not fade as she rotates to the back row. If anything, they might increase. In this third set, the magic number for Team Nutsara is 16. If they can put 16 points on the board, they will have won the overall and the 60 points that go with it. Okay. Now keep in mind, there are 100 points total in team points that are available in this set. Every time we go mm -hmm. to a third set, you have the set points as well as those win points for the overall. Right now, having swept the first two, 16. But they're going for 40 enough. times three plus 60 right oh, now. Oh yeah, they're trying to sweep it all. They're trying to take all 180 plus the stat points and walk away with a blue Absolutely. leaderboard. Absolutely. I do appreciate, though, the 16 there number breakdown because my math is challenged. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> we'll keep everyone aware of what's yes. happening. Yeah. Yes. All right, we're underway. Kevin Barnett alongside former collegiate standout setter, Missy Whittemore, as the deep corner is found by Brooke Lundeville. We had an open to the first set that was tightly contested all the way to the 20 point, the Newt Sara Used a 6-0 run to go to a 25-20 victory there. Team Valentin Anderson came out strong. We thought we flipped the script. It was 6-1, Valentin yeah. Anderson. Team Nutsara again rallied, and they win 25-20. Will we get a different story here in the third? That ball's too low. And it doesn't matter. Reed with the kill. Great save there by Reed on a very rare, not-so-good set. But Nia Reed makes it work. A little update for the pin play we've talked a lot about. Nunaville are nine kills, six digs. Chasse, 14 kills, 10 digs. 27 assists for Nitsara. And someone's in the net. Here, fishy, fishy. Looked like I saw Bastianelli shaking her head. Yes, I think she got a little piece of it. Ari Cruz remains on the floor for Team Nutsara in blue. Checked in for serve receive issues. Yeah, checked in for Yossiano Presley, stepping yeah. out that serve receive. That time it was Kendall White, who's been reliable, the Lavero out of Zionsville, Indiana. 
Spent some time with the USA Women's National Team, as has Brooke Nunaviller mm -hmm. throughout the 2022 VNL. Oh, nice mm. shape of the hands. Wow. Is that, how, is that how you did it back in the day? On the regular, yeah. I mean, I pretty much just asked my team to pass it up there nice and tight. You know, I think play. you saw us saw some tape. Yeah. Actual tape <laughs> yes. of Missy Whittemore. Actual VCR tape. What's that, VHS? Is that on beta? Oh, goodness. Bastianelli back serve. Benson taking a ton of space. And the block figured out Sassy on that one. Sassy has not been stopped often in set two. A little different matchup, though, now. With Ari Cruz there on the left side. But no, that's going to be all McCage as I watch the replay. This is plus 12, Molly McCage. Molly McCage says she, she really loves still being involved in the game. This is doing it year-round. She had offers, and she blocks another one. Offers to go to Germany coming out of year one. She could have returned to the professional ranks full time. I think that speaks highly to how much these players are excited about opportunities to play here in the States. Left pin to right pin, middles are working. I'm just excited that Molly McCage doesn't have a whole roll of tape on her left hand. Mm -hmm. Suffered a number of injuries in college, has a whole bunch of metal in her hand. Oh, how about that bump set? Reed, did she get a touch? No, Newt Sara shaped that ball, didn't she? I've seen a J stroke. That was, uh -huh. I think it was a G. Uh -huh. A G there. Never made that shape with my platform. Dancing along the net right now is Newt Sara trying to make something out of some difficult passes. 4-4. Four, four. Right hand of Valentin Anderson, trying to get the run going. Quick, McCage, who's been active early. Another dig by White. And it pays. That back row connection, that speed can take a lot of time to develop. Realize with teams being redrafted each week, time is sometimes not something these players have. So being able to adapt quickly, I have a feeling if we ask Chasse, there's not a lot of adapting to the sets of Nusara. They just tend to be excellent at all times. A lot of open net there for Sassi. And stretching for it was Cruz. Knew she was one-on-one -on -one disadvantage there. She's in the net. Raising that hand quickly. She says, don't waste a challenge. I'm all in the net there. What a beautiful choice by Valentina Anderson as she takes a peek across the net before she delivers that ball. See where the middle's going, and she sets away. McCage, this time the tight back slot. A little different yeah. pattern. You know, Molly McCage pointed out the fact that having played with Newt Sara some last year, this is a setter who's going to switch up her calls. So they're not just going to use the, white, the wide slide, but go tight as well. They're going to use McCage in front. Boy, if those two can stay on the same team over the course of the season, how dangerous could that connection become? Cruz with the dig. No one home for the next contact. I don't know if we had a collision there with Utsara. A miss there. This was earlier, after that big dig by White. Watch Utsara here, number 13. White had just made a big play. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I love the camaraderie with the women who come into market a couple weeks early mm -hmm. and are playing, are scrimmaging, are mixing it up, learning mm -hmm. each other. And a lot of them comment about this league mm -hmm. that getting to explore a new city and getting to know the other athletes off the floor are some of the best parts. Backslide tight. Dixon just got it there. Nutsara sliding. Chasse OT. Wow. Uh, yeah, climbing the leaderboard like she climbed the ladder right there. So the question coming into the season, can anyone, can anyone compete with Betty De La Cruz? Claire Chasse is going to have something to say about that, it looks like. Remember, magic number here, 16. 
Also remember, it's not just the winners that score points, but errors such as that one from the service line for Molly McCage result in negative points. All right, McCage down below Tom Com, 150, 169, and now mm -hmm. dropping further. You see that minus eight updating? Mm -hmm. Love that about our leaderboard. And now it'll be Tori Dixon moving down. Those service errors can hurt. It's actually impressive to see Nana Viller and Valentin Anderson still in the top 10 on that leaderboard, having not earned any win points in the first two sets. Those are all stat points right there. Dig by Nana Viller. Her all around game is going to play this year. Chasse. Back to Nana Villa on the other side. Off her head, that's good still. Self cover. Chasse just keeps banging. Schlegel with a couple of digs. No top spin, and it's wide. The ball control quality of Ari Cruz has really paid off here for Team Nutsar in some out of system situations to keep things going. Look at this, though, going back to the block that's then played high off the shoulder of Nunviller and then falling away there on a really difficult swing. Couldn't find the court. Kendall White has that move down. But mm -hmm. Open the shoulders, let the ball pass through. Locke got the touch. Benson with the second contact keeps it alive. Where do you go here? Lots of good options. Reed, straight down. Nutsara getting sneaky with a little one-step set there, looking like she's going to go in front, and then at the last second, dishes behind. Looks to me like she's going to go in front. Last second, she dishes behind, and that is a lot of court there to swing at. Shelly Fanning with a tough assignment mm -hmm. for Team Valentin Anderson playing middle across the net. The one-on-one -on -one kill from Reed results in a timeout by Team Valentin Anderson. Team Nutsara. It took them a little while to get going in the second. They are going strong in the third. They have a four-point lead in this set, an overall lead by 14. Athletes Unlimited Volleyball on ESPN is sponsored by Nike and by Aspiration, a global leader in financing climate impact. There's power in my voice. When I use it. To speak up for a cause. To encourage the person next to me. To help us hear the voiceless. To represent my people. To shine a light on the truth. To show others what is possible. To change the course of history. To remind you of the power in yours. There is power in your voice, but only when you use it. Team Nutsara, 25-20, 25-20, putting 80 win points into their column, now leading 11-7, looking for a clean, clean sweep, 180 total team points out of this first match of Athletes Unlimited Volleyball, presented by Nike, Kevin Barnett, alongside Missy Whittemore. 61-47 in the overall. It is not over if you're on that side. Molly McCage contributing mightily. Six kills on 11 attempts, 550. Yeah. Middle connection has been a thing of beauty for Team Nutsar, and it doesn't really matter if it's McCage or Bastianelli. They have really had some nice looks in the middle. Of course, a lot of that has to do with first and second contact, and that's Kendall White there in the white jersey for Team Nutsara. 
digging balls up all across the backcourt. Ari Cruz has been inserted into this match. I think her ball control has been key for Team Nutsara as well. Uh, you always want to have good arms, too. The offense is cranking with Nutsara, hitting 410 as a team. And that is efficiency, by the way, not kill percentage. Claire Chausse in her debut. Thought she'd be impactful. Yeah, how about 16 kills on 28 attempts, hitting 460 in efficiency. Um, from the left pin? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. And they have been powerful kills, too. Over the top, inside of the block, pummeling defenders. Yeah, you only hit for that sort of efficiency if you have one error on 28 swings. Incredible. Overpass. Chasse takes a cut at it. Valentin Anderson, though, with an extremely athletic move, the 2 7. I'm not sure that Chasse goes back up on the block here. I don't know if she was undecided. A little late off the floor. Couldn't decide. She I don't think she knew if Valentin Anderson was going to set it or take a swing. And Valentin Anderson goes cross court. How about a kill for the setter? You don't see that very often on the scoreboard. Score's the same. Plus eight. That's right. Plus eight. We hope husband Colt is cheering. It's uh, Natty's favorite human. <laughs> that one has to be put over. Handled by Nutsara. That's not ideal. Bump set right side. Chasse. Good soft touch. Here's Benson. Good footwork. Staying behind the line. And Reed, a kill on left. Well, she's proven effective on that left side. Not true of all opposites. That is, that's a good point. Yeah, very effective. Someone that Nutsara felt like needed to be on the floor for this team, particularly at the right pin. But she's very comfortable over on the left side, quite often choosing to stay there rather than make that switch and serve receive. Let's Claire Chasse hang out at the right pin. Certainly doesn't force the switch. I think she likes taking rips over there. Tough, deep serve. She'll go with a good pass. Bastianelli running in. Puts it nice and high for Reed. Off the block, out of bounds. Point. Valentin Anderson. Taking a look at some of the international flair of this Valentin Anderson team as she goes back to HIPAA. Schlegel on the floor now for this group as well. Yeah, Schlegel with a key dig there and mm -hmm. has stayed all the way around. She's in the left front right now, number 26 in orange. The ball's high over and cleaned up by Fanning. Shelly Fanning out of Cypress, Texas, not too far away. Completed her Masters in Sports Management at Baylor. Baylor, a program that rose over the last few years mm -hmm. in the collegiate ranks. You know, Kevin, I think worth noting, obviously the outsides get so many opportunities to score points, but realize they're also very active in serve receive, and so they get quite a few opportunities for negative points as well, because a bad pass is negative points. Touch there, Ari Cruz picks up the kill. Throughout the season, we'll have little chair chats, chance to check in with players who are on the floor, and Nicole Edelman Cagliari joins us. Hello. I, I love, love a 14. Love. Me too. Great number. It is a good, very good number. Great number. <laughs> hey, is that your favorite? Yeah, oh, that's my number. Born on that day. Are you are you the one who hasn't born on that day? I am. I think it's a lucky number. That's why. <laughs> I'm on board. Count me in. I love it. I love it. Did you get a nap in today? Your critical I, part you of your know, game prep? I did. I got a whole 15 minutes in. Power nap today. Mm. But we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Nicole, tell us a little bit about your early time here in Arizona so far. Are you enjoying yeah. the Athletes Unlimited environment? It's been amazing. Um, I was playing six years overseas, so for me, playing basically at home, you know, it's an hour flight from Denver. I already have friends in the crowd. Uh, it's just an amazing experience. And then, you know, just playing with girls that I played with like 10 years ago. You know, we're reunited here in um, Mesa, Arizona, so it's just... Uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a good time. I happen to notice that you're fluent in four languages. Have you done a little <laughs> conversation am. with some of our internationals here at yes, AU? Yes, I have. No French, English, of course. Some Spanish with Puerto Ricans, and then Portuguese with Sasa, our gold medalist. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff with the languages. Um, <laughs> I try and practice when I can, teach other players if they want. Uh, another language or a word here or there when I have time. <laughs> We've touched on for the first year players how the scoring system may or may not affect their play. In all the time you guys have been charting and keeping score and stats leading up to this opening night, how have you noticed it affecting your thought process as a setter? 
Yeah, I think for me, it's just I want my team to be as efficient as possible. Um, so at the end of the day, you want to win all the sets, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then I think also it's important to just keep a tab on um, if you do win the first two sets, you do also want to win the third one, right? Because uh, we had a scrimmage where uh, my team, we made up a lot of ground and actually won the whole thing. So for me, it's more about like managing the sets um, than, than points, because I think you just have to play as hard as you can, and then the points come for themselves <laughs> when it comes to that. Wait. So you don't want to focus too much on them while you're playing. You guys just picked up a whole bunch of points. You just picked up We're 60 win fire. points right yeah. now. So yeah. you, have, oh, yeah. you have won the overall at this point. Yep. Yeah, well, we want to win. We want to keep going. We got, what is that, nine points to go? We can do that. Yeah, you guys will get a clean sweep. That would be a nice yeah. way to start the season. For sure. Start the season, start the weekend. And, you know, it's it's just amazing, though, because everybody is playing at such a high level and everybody can make changes with double subs or outsides, uh, you know, or just different hitters and stuff. So um, it's just going to be great to see how, how the weekend unfolds, how each team kind of makes those adjustments, um, so they can keep, keep on getting the dubs. So we'll see what happens. That and ball. Molly just crushed that ball. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Off the edge of the block once she again. Did. She has been killing the edge of the block. Well, you married Daniel Cagliari recently. I did, a, yes. A pro player himself. Does he want a piece of the scoring system or what? Have you guys discussed how he would do? Is he going to make too many hitting errors? What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, he's still getting used to it. He's uh, he's playing in France right now professionally, and so he still has a lot of questions, but hopefully when he can watch the replays, um, when he wakes up tomorrow morning, he'll have a better understanding of that. <laughs> he didn't stay up all night? You know, he has his games tomorrow, too. He has, he okay. has two games okay. tomorrow, actually. Priorities. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll let him off the hook on for <laughs> for this game. We'll see about the other ones. All right. Well, your priorities wrapping it up here. Your team's looking good. Yeah, thanks, we are. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. Talk to you guys soon. All right, Nicole Edelman Cagliari. All right, we'll, we'll talk to her throughout the year. 18-12, her team has wrapped up the overall, but looking to go for the clean sweep here. Oh, more defense from the opposite position. You love that. Chasse flying in again. Tough offense. How about that approach angle? Right. Looked like she was in no man's land, and then some fancy footwork got a little bit inside out there to the left pin. Oh, Just Schlegel. Coming all the way across to play defense and right front makes it difficult then to swing out and attack. She really doesn't have much of an approach. It's gather, swing, and take a rip. Yeah, and she never went forward. It was completely yeah. sideways. Still got some heat on the ball. Little inside X chasse. Looking for that same booyah kill earlier. Instead, uh, it's turned by Nunavilla. Boy, it looked like it was there. Nutsara floating it over the shoulder of Molly McCage, and you thought for sure, after all the hard looks that we've seen Chasse come out on top, this looked like one she would win. Goes with the little tip shot, and guess what? He says, no, no. So Schlegel, Hippa, this serve there. Talk about the positives and negatives of serves. We have our second match coming up 9.30 Eastern, game two of our season opening night of volleyball here on ESPN+. Plus. But Dania De La Cruz, the gold team, she's the defending champion, is going to take on Leah Edmond in purple. Mm -hmm. And that will be at 9.30 Eastern for more Athletes Unlimited Volleyball. Join us. But, but Dania De La Cruz last year, think of her as this high, hard swinging outside. As Dixon is stopped. Her serving, she's a big jump serve. She had 18 aces last year. That's first in the league, but how many errors did she have on that big jump serve that was netting all the points? Oh, Only 19. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. That's a payoff. Yeah, yeah. How about Molly McCage paying herself off? The middle blocker serving and playing some defense to win that previous rally. Unfortunately, an error there. Yeah, and giving some of those points right back, and she knows it. Molly McCage, third year player now at Athletes Unlimited and member of the player executive committee. Very much part of the Athletes Unlimited movement. As Dixon goes back to serve, we've seen a change in the orange lineup. Kaz Brown, a middle blocker out of Kentucky, into the match. Chasse blocked. Well, Chasse's had a lot of swings in this third set. Her efficiency going down a bit, but that's, that's a pretty good swing. Kaz Brown there, number 10 in orange. In on the block. Hats off to Kaz Brown for answering the call. Her, she has a strong identity as a blocker. It's always been the strength of her game, and right away she comes in and makes an impact. How about a bump back slide from the ground? Oh Anyone? My goodness. Another point, Saucy this time. Remember, 40 points for that win in this set still out there. 
Valentin Anderson within three. Yeah, Valentin Anderson battling for some win points here. This would be a huge start for Team Nitsar if they can sweep all win points. Jose, oh, blocked to the deep line. <laughs> Hello, Cass Brown. Welcome to the match. Here she is, tin and orange. Look at that. Nice close, turns it back in bounds. Valentin Anderson not out of the set yet. Yeah, four point run for Team Valentin Anderson has a timeout called by Nude Sara. And today you're going to see the Athletes Unlimited crew celebrating Green Sports Day, a day when the global sustainable sports community comes together to leverage the power of sports to increase awareness. This year, Athletes Unlimited became the first U.S.-based sports league to become carbon neutral. Kind of a neat thing that Athletes Unlimited is doing. So much of this experience to talk about for the athletes, for everyone, about so much more than just volleyball. Let's uh, check in with Savannah Collins. We haven't heard from her in a while. She's been roaming the sidelines, getting the scoops. Well, I've been listening in on this orange team bench, and although we're seeing Kaz Brown now in the third set, she has been so involved in this team. Atmosphere, communication, and momentum throughout this game. Every time out, she's so involved. She's giving tips to her team, things that she's seeing on the bench, and now coming through in this moment, this is what she said to her team back in the second set. She said, hey, let's have that fire that when the ball is in the air, say, I want it, set it to me, go get that moment. And when it was time for her to come in, she took advantage of that same advice she gave her orange squad. And Savannah, you only see the success that we've seen from Kaz as she entered the match if you are that involved. You don't come out and have the awareness that she's had closing the blocks, getting, you know, immediately impact this match if you have not been that involved, really paying attention over the course of the match. Tell you what, she is battling to help Orange try to get some win points here. Totally been huge when it comes to she has been huge when it comes to momentum for this team and it's like you said she has been locked in every point you can mm -hmm. see her after her team scores or if they give up a point she's talking with other athletes on the bench about what worked what didn't so that's why when she's finally getting involved here in the third set it's a seamless transition joining the rotation absolutely thank you savannah All right, you can get more access no matter where you are by joining the Unlimited Club. This has been a feature over the last couple of years. Vote on game MVPs, enjoy virtual events, contribute to our player pool bonus, and more. For just $20, you are adding to the league. Sign up now at auprosports.com slash members. Become a member of the Unlimited Club. Be a fan all year. Come and join us in Mesa, Arizona. Watching Kaz Brown step in and make an impact. Number 10 in orange for her side. Will she give Jenna Rosenthal, who we're going to see in match number two, a run for her money as top blocker? Mm -hmm. well, that'll be Wisconsin versus Waterloo. It's a, new, a new recognition this year in the league. Big swing out of the timeout, Reed. Well, that'll end a run, won't it? The pins of Team Nutsara continue to shine. Whether it's Reed, Chasse, we saw Yassiana Presley early. Wow, look at this. And now, of course, Ari Cruz, but that time near Reed with a big swing. I'm quite interested to see the next match and how it plays out. Oh, right now, too. Team Newt Sara and that kind of offensive firepower is looking like a dangerous team all weekend. Yeah, I'm super excited for the matches ahead. This has only just sparked my interest as we get kind of a feel of what these teams are made of. Sometimes you end up with the team that's just on fire as Bastianelli nearly got a hold of that. Kaz Brown racking up some block points and now a kill. Yeah, Jenna Rosenthal, 26 blocks last year. I actually shorted Molly McCage when she had 27 blocks last year. Okay. So, sorry, Molly. Bastianelli, that one a little bit over her left shoulder. Net violation is going to have that one going to Team Nutsara. So, Nutsara two away from the close and a perfect start. If you're a middle blocker playing with Nutsara, be ready at all times. She will set the middle from anywhere. Love that. Uh, yeah, even the low overhead bump set. <laughs> 
I, I can't leave it on the highlight. I, I need that on the highlight reel. The low overhead bump set. I've got to have that one. And Chelsea is going to take negative eight, but she will remain atop the leaderboard. A lot of blue, one through four. Bastianelli misses. Boy, Valentin Anderson and her crowd would love to walk away with 40 points here. You have to fight for every point. Absolutely. You have to fight for those 40 points. Already, Team Nutsara has 140. Cover by Nutsara. Right side. Off the head of Bastianelli, she can't find it. Instead, White does. But it doesn't matter. Point Saucy to Valentin Anderson. Kaz Brown a wall at the net right now, making it really difficult for Nutsara in her middles as Nutsara continues to feed the middle, but Kaz Brown right there to take away that swing from Bastianelli. 23-22. Back to the pins, Cruz. Dug right back over and just out. <laughs> Kendall White with the assist. <laughs> the veteran play of Ari Cruz has really been crucial to steady the ship for Team Nutsara that looked, it, it really looked rattled in serve receive early in this match. It looked like it could get ugly, and all of a sudden here comes Ari Cruz, and things have settled. Set point. Opportunity to swing for it. Back set, Bastianelli. Inside the block, not this time. So it'll be a second set point opportunity. You know everyone wanted it to be back set from the middle for a right, kill. Right, right. And after the tempo of play we've seen over the course of that match, that was a very slow, high, outside, swinging ball, just big rips off the top of the block. I was watching the, the blue crew over there. And mm -hmm. Yeah, they're talking about that. That ball into the net, and Team Nutsara closes it out. A little closer in the third, but an overall sweep, 180 total team win points. They win all three sets in the overall. Well, all these players have been quick to point out that how do you succeed in this league? It's about win points, even more so than individual stat points. And Team Blue racking up a bunch of them. What a way to start the weekend for Nutsara and crew. Join us again at 9.30 Eastern, game two of our season opening night of volleyball on ESPN Plus. Team Betania De La Cruz, the gold team, will take on Leah Edmond and the purple side. Our defending champ will be back in action. Tune in, 9.30 Eastern for Athletes Unlimited Volleyball. For now, we'll say goodbye. Team Nude Sara, 25-20, 25-20, 25-23, and 180 points. We'll be back.